Happy New Year. I hope everyone had a safe holiday and made the best of 2020. It's a new year and it's going to be a great one. Thank you so much for joining me. If you joined me last year, I'm so happy to have you back. If you didn't join me last year, welcome to my home. I'm Nicole Pilsen, the Matagorda County Marine Agent. I'm super excited to be back with y'all this year. I'm going to put out one video every month. In October, we might do a few extra. So I figured to start the year off, everyone does the resolutions of I'm gonna eat healthier, I'm gonna cook more, this and that. So I thought, why not try a winter snapper ceviche? Sounds kind of fun. Or maybe it doesn't. Maybe ceviche is very intimidating to you, but I'm here to tell you, it's not hard. You can do it it's so easy. Maybe you're thinking, mm, raw fish. It's not raw. There is so much acid in this, all those yummy lime juices and everything that really cook the fish. So you are going to be fine. Let's break down the ingredients so you can see what you'll need. You are going to need around two pounds of snapper fillets, half of an onion diced, one jalapeno seeded and diced, half a cup each of lemon juice, lime juice, and orange juice. And what makes this kind of a wintry snapper ceviche are some of these wintry ingredients, like persimmons, we are going to use two, we'll peel these and dice these later, a cup of pomegranate seeds, and kale! Just kidding, no one's excited about kale, but we're gonna use about a cup, cup and a half, we'll do our bowl for the whole. You'll need a third cup of cilantro, some hot sauce, which is optional, and salt and pepper to taste. All right, we are going to go and cut the snapper. We don't want to cut it into really little pieces, but we don't want them to be too big either or the acid won't cook them right. So actually, sorry, let me remove some bling here. That was a poor design choice. So what I'm gonna do first is sometimes on the fillets here, when they're cut, they have this bloodline on them. A, it doesn't look super great and it doesn't taste great either. It's usually pretty fishy, so I'm gonna remove a good portion of that because that's not good eats. So take my knife and make sure you're very, very careful. So this snapper was caught in state waters. Now Texas state waters are open year round for the snapper fishery for private recreational anglers. So you can go and catch your snapper year round now the federal waters are a little different. That is not a year round season. It is usually um, takes place in the summer, typically starting around June 1st. Now the season for that is determined by TPWD. We'll go ahead and decide how long that the season should be open. We're just gonna cut this fish up here a little bit. Fish looks cooked and great. 
So we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna serve it in the bowl and then I'll top it with the pomegranate seeds and everything. But let's go ahead and try it and see how much salt and pepper we need to add and hot sauce and all that good stuff. So let's get a little bite here. Mm, it's so good. That persimmon, I just don't even know what to tell you. It's so good. It really doesn't need a lot of salt, to be honest. So we'll add, add a good pinch. And some pepper, never hurt. A little more. It's very, very good. The kale stays are kind of crunchy, which you kind of need because all the other ingredients are a little soft, so it's nice to have that textural difference. We'll give this a quick mix here. Let's get this served up. Got a bowl here. I know sometimes when they serve ceviche, they serve them in the like really cute little glasses. I don't have that. <laughs> so I'm just gonna use a bowl. It'll be all right. All right. That over here, and I'm actually gonna just do the hot sauce on this because I'm tired of mixing that giant bowl of fish. So just do a few little dabs there. Some seeds. Add some really pretty red color to this. Oh yeah. And then I have some whole wheat crackers because we're trying to be good. <laughs> you could use tortilla chips or whatever kind of little cracker you have on hand. All right. Well, you guys, that is our first recipe for the year. I hope you like this one. Let me know what you think. And please tune in next month for our second recipe. Take care, guys.